Hey guys, I'm Rick, and welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. Uh, we're good. We're looking at another update for the uh, memory profiles for um, for my Ryzen, and today we're going to be taking a look at Asus. Now, I was actually holding off a couple of days because when uh, I checked the Asus site, what's unfortunate is so far they've only updated two of their motherboards. And I was hoping to wait to make this video till they updated all their motherboards. But it's been over a week now since they updated the original, the, the first ones. And, you know, I think it's time to get the information out there for anyone that has the boards that have been updated and hasn't had a chance to check yet, that the memory has been updated. And oddly enough, uh, they didn't update the high-end line. They didn't update the Crosshair line. They actually updated the Prime line of uh, AM4 boards. So... That's really fun because I think a lot of people out there that have the budget board uh, were feeling already that it was harder getting memory working than with the crosshair, which gives you a lot more options and a, a lot better compatibility to begin with. Maybe that's why they're focused on those products first. Who knows? Um, however, as well, the BIOS is a beta. Now, I do have the, uh, the X370 motherboard, which I tested myself. So I do have a I did I did have a uh, Asus Prime X370. So I did test and it is like the ASRock update so far. It's been it, it helped most of my memory issues and I was able to load XMP profiles now even on my kit of DDR4 with four DIMMs, so four times four gigabytes. It's crucial memory, so it's actually a pretty budget kit and was able to load XMP profiles. So it's been solving my memory issues so far. Um, Let's look, let's take a look quick at how we how we get there. So I'm just going to move my uh, this really quick to here so we can just see the beginning. So when we get to the Asus site, so this is US. Okay, we're going to grab products. We're going to go down to motherboards. Now, like I said, they split it by line. I've checked each line. Uh, the they've only updated so far the pro the the, the prime line. So we're going to choose Asus Prime. I'm just going to move myself back up to the corner so that we can see the rest. Um, now, like I said, the Prime line, they have they updated two of the boards. So the, Pri the Prime X370 Pro and the Prime B350 Plus. Um, also, so we're going to grab, let's check the X370 Pro. We grab the supports page, drivers and tools. You choose your OS, Windows 10. And then we're going to open up the BIOS section. So right here we have the update indicating it's a beta BIOS using AGESA 1.0.0.6, which is the new one for the memory. And like I said, so far on my end, it's been solving a lot of my problems. Quick disclaimer though, this is a beta version, which is maybe also why they launched it for the uh, prime line and not the high-end line, because basically they're using us maybe as guinea pigs to see if there are any other problems with the BIOS. However, so far, I haven't come across anything on my end. Now, as we did for the ASRock video, I would really appreciate if any of you following this video or even before have updated to 1.0.0.6. So this is a beta version 0803. Post in the comments down below what memory you're using, what results you got. Is it working? Is it not? Are you coming up with any issues? Because I want us to help each other in this. You know, with Ryzen, it's really fun to have high-end memory, and we've been waiting for it for a while now. But at the same time, we need to help each other out and help learn from each other. Uh, on the ASRock end, for the video I made last week, like 95% is all positive comments, and it's pretty much solving everyone's memory issues. But that doesn't mean it's going to be perfect and it doesn't mean there aren't going to be some problems. A couple of people did post problems with certain specific kits. So it'd be a good idea for you guys to post it, let us know, share information and get things rolling. Um, so basically, you know, and also disclaimer as well, as always, when updating the BIOS, please be careful. Make sure you're in a stable environment that your PC won't lose power or anything while the update is happening. Because if you do lose power, there is a possibility that you're going to brick your motherboard. It can be serious, uh, meaning you have to send it off to Asus or whatever manufacturer you're dealing with and uh, have them basically reflash the BIOS on it. There are safeguards on there where you can sometimes recover it yourself, but from personal experience, I'm going to tell you it is not 100% functional all the time. There are times you have to send it off and get it reflashed, which is not a, it's not fun because it does take them about a week or two to mail it over there, reflash it, 
mail it back so it, it can be a real hassle and it, you have to take apart your system not fun um, so anyway if you guys do update and do do have this please leave in the comments like I said down below the results you're getting um, I'm gonna be looking to at MSI I'm gonna try to get one of my buddies I know he got an MSI board because I, I, I prefer testing it myself before making these videos at least with my kit which is a crucial kit 4 times 4 gigabyte memory uh, which is one of the worst scenarios you can get for compatibility right now because you're using four DIMMs rather than two. Uh, I, I like testing it out myself, just seeing that, you know, the update is at least functional on my end before making these videos and letting it out there for you guys. So as usual, if you like this video, if you want to see more, uh, please drop me a like. It's really appreciated. And even if you want to help me out even more, please subscribe. I, uh, you know, I really love making these videos and if I want to keep making them uh, the more support i have the more help i have from you guys the better it is um at the same time i've been talking about in my last two videos and now we're only a couple of days away because i'm already working on the benchmarks for my 100 uh, budget gaming pc and i think you guys are going to be surprised what we managed to get together for just 100 bucks uh, anyone out there like on a super tight budget looking for like a decent gaming potato that you can do some really decent light gaming on i think you guys are going to be happily surprised with what we got so tune in to that in the next few days and as always it was a pleasure making this video for you guys and i hope i see you guys next time